man, if you live in Hungary and she doesn't have a filmmaker, someone should be capitalizing on that and making a career out of that. Yeah, I won't be here for long, so no need. Go ahead, Brian. That's an easy question. <laughs> oh, I was... No, she no, wasn't continue, even continue. paying attention. Uh, where, are you, where are you going, Laura? It's where are too you late going? <laughs> You'll see, maybe. Is it somewhere Who? that you've been recently? Yeah. Who are you going with? Alone. Are you are you traveling for training or are you chasing a mate? I don't chase anyone. Yeah, you're 24 years old. You're at the perfect age to be chased or or get chased. Chased mm -hmm. or chase someone? No, no, I don't so do she's that. She's chasing. She's chasing other things. So you're 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 moving for training. You yeah. rented the house next to Ben Smith's house. Pretty much. And. Um, but there isn't a romantic interest there. It's strictly f to get to beat Tia. I mean, to win the CrossFit Games. That's correct. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. This, I mean, win the CrossFit Games. You have to be, beat Tia. So yeah. That's Are you what, friends with her? I don't. I don't do friends at the games. Wow! I need to introduce you. I have found the perfect. Oh, but he already has a girlfriend. Damn it! I found the perfect guy for you. Do you know Colton oh, no, Mertens? Thank you. I'm not interested in that. No, not right now. He, he, I don't need that. I know it's perfect because he is not interested in making friends either. You guys could have a relationship and hate each other. It would be awesome. But he has a yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. I don't need that. Ben's coaching versus Michelle's coaching. Four dollars no, and ninety nine no. cents from Let's Matwani. Go skip that subject. I yeah, that's mean. a horrible question. I apologize that I even read that yeah. out loud. That is. Laura, can that, I ask you something that's a similar yeah. but different though? Is <laughs> you know because because. Uh, some athletes have had the same – they've, oh, they've been man. successful in CrossFit and had the same coaches for 8 to 10 years. And then there's other athletes that every two or three years they change coaches. My, my perspective, based on my own career of, of athletics, which is a lot less impressive than most of yours, is I found value in having different coaches along the way because they all bring a little something. And then I could take from the old one the stuff that was good for me, apply some of the new stuff. Has that been s similar for you? So, yeah, I think so. If I look at it, particularly in CrossFit, if I look at some athletes and I see their coach, like their coach and athlete career with like some of the programs they follow and coaches they had, I like question it sometimes. Like, why are you still with that coach? Because maybe, I mean, you need someone else because that coach can't get you any further than it's. Yeah, sometimes I, yeah, I look at that, it that, like that way. But for me, I think it was good. Like I learned a lot from Michelle and I had coaches previously to Michelle as well, which I also learned a lot from. So I don't look at it as like it was bad or good or like the current situation is better than that. You don't really compare those. You just like learn from anyone and everyone who are who you meet, I guess. And then I learned a lot from Michelle. Yeah, Michelle's great. I've had a chance to talk to her. I actually talked to her at the games for a little bit.